Oprah is being called out by fans as well as some of her closest A-list friends. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate and these are the top 10 celebrities exposing Oprah Winfrey right now. Number 10, Cindy Crawford. Model and actress Cindy Crawford has called Oprah out over their 1986 interview that took place on her show, where Oprah asked the then 20 year old to expose herself to the crowd. Crawford reflected on the interview in a new documentary called The Supermodels on Apple TV Plus. I swear everybody's got a plus these days. The documentary spotlights the careers of several models like Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, and of course, Cindy Crawford. In a clip from the documentary, Winfrey is heard introducing the then aspiring supermodel to the Oprah Winfrey show before she asked her, did she always have this body? This is unbelievable. Stand up. Now that's what I call a body. Yeah, I know that's not a good Oprah Winfrey, but hey, <laughs> who cares? She is visibly uncomfortable and sheepishly stands up before the studio audience cheered as she showed off her figure. According to Cindy, she felt like a child in that moment being told what to do by her superior. She felt that the moment was more of a show us why you're worthy of being here type situation than anything else. At the time, this was just some weird thing that Oprah asked her to do, but eventually it morphed and mutated into one of the most uncomfortable moments of her early years in modeling. The most shocking thing for Cindy was the fact that this was Oprah Winfrey trying to tell her what to do. This woman known for kindness and generosity was just making her feel like a puppet. Number nine, Seal. This man may be known for his vocal chops, facial scars, and many other things, but he should be known for the meme-making abilities that he holds deep within. Just days after the Golden Globe, Seal posted a meme on Instagram consisting of several photos of Oprah Winfrey cozying up with a man whose name I'm not allowed to say on the internet because he is just so heinous. He's the guy who produced half of Quentin Tarantino's movies, he was the main cause of the Me Too movement, and for the rest of this entry, I'm gonna refer to him as Java the Hutt, because he looks exactly like him. Oprah and Java were photographed spending time together, and one photo even made it look like Oprah was trying to push singer Rita Ora towards Mr. Hutt. Seal captioned the image, saying a bunch of stuff that I'm not allowed to quote because gosh darn internet and their rules. The meme itself read, when you have been part of the problem for decades, but suddenly they think that you are the solution. Now, I'm not sure how deep the feud between Seal and Oprah really goes, but on the surface, it seems like he's been trying to warn us about her for quite some time. Number eight, Ice Cube. Ice Cube may have gotten his career thanks to his epic musical chops, both as a solo artist as well as his time with the NWA, but these days, you probably know him as the guy from Ride Along or 21 Jump Street. That's right, he's the captain. Who Schmidt, well, let's not get into it. Ice Cube started acting in movies in 1991, debuting in the film Boys in the Hood as Doughboy. He continued to act over and over again, starring in movies like Friday, Anaconda, and Are We There Yet? His dislike for Oprah comes from the fact that while he has starred in a ton of movies and he's more wildly known for it, she has never invited him onto his show. She even asked his co-stars to appear more times than himself on multiple occasions. In 2006, Ice Cube expressed his frustrations, saying that his barbershop co-stars Cedric the Entertainer and Eve were invited on the show while he was just kind of left on the sidelines. He pointed out how crazy it is that she has all of these people with dark pasts and convictions onto the show, and besides, it's a whole rags to riches type deal when she brings people on, and if Ice Cube wasn't a rags to riches story, then who was? Now we got a little piece of that story in Straight out of Compton, but we'll talk about that another time. His feud with Oprah has been long standing, and so far it's looking like he is definitely on the opposing side of this whole Maui situation. Speaking of which, number seven, Jason Momoa. Aquaman, the enemy of Dom Toretto, and now the man speaking out on Oprah's Maui scandal. Jason Momoa is a gifted actor, and by all accounts, he seems like a gifted person too. Recently, several news outlets have claimed that Jason is on the opposing side of the fund. According to these outlets, Jason posted a video to Instagram in which he addresses the fires and offers his own support to the victims, but while never mentioning anyone by name, he mentions that some may use this as a way to exploit or to make profit, but that wasn't his intention. The clip went viral, and as you can guess, outlets were interpreting everything they could from it, with the biggest headlines being, Jason Momoa calls out Oprah for wildfires. Now, while not completely inaccurate, the general consensus is that there is no bad blood between these people. Jason has yet to specify who would profit from this, but since the backlash, he's actually been posting videos on a regular basis, updating his followers on the situation and his position in assisting so far. Of course, Jason has donated money to the People's Fund of Maui, and he even teamed up with Dwayne Johnson to do public functions and collaborations to help raise awareness and scrape together as much money for the people of Maui as possible. Speaking of Dwayne Johnson, number six, Dwayne Johnson. When it comes to this whole Maui fun situation, there is one person that keeps being left out of the conversation, and it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, Johnson is of course one of the 
most bankable men in Hollywood, starring in several franchises and jungle based movies. But he's decided to partner with Oprah to create this People's Fund of Maui and donated $5 million of his own money to match Oprah's donation. Now, The Rock received a large amount of criticism, but not nearly as much as Oprah. The main reason being is that The Rock has a significantly smaller net worth. He's still only a millionaire, okay, everybody? He's ju just as poor as the rest of us. Thousands of his followers have defended him rather than passed judgment. Let's face it, $5 million is still a ton of money, and it's going to make a lot of people very happy. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of information regarding his position towards Oprah at this time. The comments on their posts have been turned off, and the People's Fund of Maui has raised a ton of money since this whole backlash thing started. So at least there's something good coming out from all this negativity. Number five, Angelina Jolie. You would imagine that two people who consider themselves to be humanitarians would agree on something, but apparently that is not the case between Angelina Jolie and Oprah Winfrey. According to an insider close to Oprah, Angelina actually refused to help Oprah launch her Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for girls in South Africa. Take a sip every time I say Oprah. According to the source, Oprah reached out seeking celebrity sponsorship and public backing for the project. When she reached out to Angelina, she was met with a swift no thank you. Oprah assumed that Angelina, of all people, would jump at the chance to represent such an incredible cause, especially considering how much Angelina just loved Africa. But the no was a devastation and she would never ask for Angie's help again. A lot of people believe that the hate towards Oprah stems from her decision to publicly side with Jennifer Aniston after she split from Angie's ex Brad Pitt. Hey, to be fair, the split came a couple of weeks after, you know, I'm not going to get into Brangelina. That's drama for a different story and a different list. Number four, Tom Hanks. Rumors have been circulating online that Tom Hanks may have received some inside information on the Maui wildfire situation that pertain to Oprah. Now, a ton of videos have been published online in the last few days claiming that Oprah orchestrated the Maui wildfires and hired a private team of firefighters to make it look more legit. Now, according to several media outlets, Tom was made aware of a secret plot because he's just so close to Oprah. The two have been known to share the occasional night out and some pasta. Now, well, it turns out that these were just rumors. In fact, they were actually created by an AI. Someone told a computer somewhere to write a story about Tom and Oprah, and the computer came up with Oprah sets Maui on fire, which is very dark. While it's a catching thumbnail and surely a fun little bit of information, the reality is that Tom has absolutely no idea what's going on. When asked about his position on the Maui fund, he has had nothing but positive things to say and is actually a little bit disappointed with the reaction from the world. When America's dad tells you he's disappointed, you gotta listen. That's harsh. Number three, Ludacris. Luda! <laughs> Luda! Sorry, just gotta get that out of my system. Do it a couple of times. Ludacris appeared on Oprah in 2004 to promote the film Crash, and he claimed that Oprah ambushed him. With criticism about hip-hop lyrics instead of actually talking about the critically acclaimed movie that he was there to plug. Luda has since claimed that Oprah edited the show to make herself seem more favorable to her audience members. He said during a separate interview that she had edited out a lot of his comments while keeping her own in. Now, of course, it's her show, but they were doing a show on racial discrimination, and she gave Luda a hard time as a rapper when he came on the show to be an actor. Luda revealed that his interview was extremely last minute. He didn't even know he was going to be on the show until about 24 hours beforehand. Following the interview on Oprah, she pulled him aside to a green room where he claims to have been berated by the talk show host. According to Oprah, having a rapper on her show made her feel like she was empowering them. He said it was like being at someone's house who just really did not want you there. At that point, he had already been uncomfortable, but that was just a little cherry on top. Her main concern was, of course, his use of the N-word in lyrics, but he quickly pointed out the hypocrisy of having people like Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock on the show who were famous for using the slur in their sets. Oprah's shadiness was on full display following this interview with Luda. Luda! Luda! No, sorry, it's like it's twitch. It's like a twitch now. Number two, Kitty Kelly. In Kitty Kelly's tell-all book about Oprah, the author mentions the confidentiality agreements that co-workers and guest stars are made to sign, as well as a couple of other dark details. Now, the NDAs included everyone from Tom Cruise to the person who made his muffins. Over 500 staff members were forced to sign these documents, and one former employee, Elizabeth Cody, even tried to write a book about her time working for Oprah, but she was stopped by the courts, still being tied to the agreement. The NDAs were not meant to be a way to just 
keep the show secrets safe, but any and all of Oprah's secrets as well. The book also contained information from a source close to Oprah who said that in her four years with the show, she could tell that there was absolutely nothing there with her partner, Stedman. Oprah just kind of wanted to portray herself as a woman who loved her man on TV, but Stedman has always felt like this side character in her world, never really getting his moment to shine. The book revealed a million things, but the common theme was lies, lies, and more lies. Number one, herself. Oprah Winfrey is taking the top spot on the list of people exposing Oprah because she's been doing it since day one. Her talk show is all about bringing the most vulnerable people on to get views. She's brought violence victims, health experts, fake psychologists, and convicted felons onto her program, all for the sake of profit. As the years went by, her style was adapted by more and more studios, making shows like Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz, which were both equally as controversial. Not to mention a few years ago when she wrote a book detailing her life and rise to the top, revealing some truly dark truths about her home life. She herself was considered to be a tyrant by her family, but it seems that whatever negative juju was happening in that house has permanently rubbed off on Oprah. And those are the top 10 celebrities who have exposed Oprah Winfrey right now. Do you have some inside knowledge on the Winster? Well, let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you for checking out our content on the channel. Drop a like if you had fun, and please keep coming back every day with more celebrity updates. Thanks for stopping me on the screen. We'll see you next time.